welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a long requested, updated designer bag video. You guys have been asking for it and asking because some of you follow me on Instagram and I have been getting messages from you saying, Xenia, you have so many new bags, you have to do a designer bag collection or a bag collection. So I've got all my bags here in the pile if only you could see it. So I'm here to share and show you all my bags that I have um, acquired over the last maybe six, seven, eight, maybe a year basically. There are some old ones, there are some new ones, there are actually some that I haven't worn yet. So let's jump in and I will show you everything. Let's just start with the old, the ones that you have definitely seen already. The first one I have here is the patent Louis Vuitton burgundy um, bag that I don't wear that much. I got this bag maybe five years ago now and in the last three years I probably have worn it I don't know maybe 10 times. I am wearing something quite feminine well not really feminine more like elegant and classy. I will pick this bag up. I do still like it. It's still a really nice bag but it's not really a day bag because it only has the short handles and it only has the short handles and I prefer a bag with a strap that I can put on my shoulder because I'm lazy and I'm always doing something. The other bag that I have here that you guys have seen is the Celine um, True Piece. It's in vermilion color. I have folded the sides because on my shelf it doesn't fit when the sides are unfolded. But I've had it for three years now. You can probably tell, especially on the suede sides, um, there is quite a bit of wear on them from the jeans and the trousers, especially if I'm wearing dark jeans, it does transfer on the suede. The leather, however, looks pretty good. I had to replace a lock on this. I had to send it um, to Celine and they replaced it because it actually pretty much fell off. It's great because it has the strap, it has the handle. You can change the style by folding the the sides in and when it is raining I do fold the sides in. What else have we got? I have the Chloe Drew bag that you guys have seen already as well. I have had it for I think two years. Jay gave it to me for either my birthday or Christmas or something like that. Love, love, love this bag. The colors just fit so perfectly into my wardrobe. I do wear a lot of neutrals, a lot of browns, a lot of grays and it looks so good. Um, I do have to say that this bag is heavy, so don't overload it. I had to replace the chain on this because the chain here, it just broke. And um, so that's another thing. Yeah, don't do the same mistake as I did. And then another bag that a lot of you guys love and I got so, so many questions from you about the Melly Mello um, bag. This is in size medium and so many of you were about to purchase this bag and I got a lot of questions about the size, about the, the, you know, the wear, the strap, everything. I cannot recommend this bag enough. We have a guest appearance on my channel. Please welcome Joshua Morgan. <laughs> Let's see what's in the parcels. Uh, I got something from Zara. I will get back to my bags, I promise. Um, and I do know what it is, I think. That I read pretty quickly, actually. So I got a pair of really like slouchy, long trousers. They're quite thin, but I love that mustard color. And a matching top. So that will go together. I was, I was thinking to wear it with like a white peeking out t-shirt underneath and with a pair of sneakers. I am just preparing a sales haul for you guys because I have bought so many things on sale. But I'm just expecting another parcel from Outnet. And as soon as that arrives, I will share my whole sales haul with you. Yes, the Melly Mello bag, uh, I'm absolutely still loving it. It is one of my favorite everyday bags that I use on a daily basis. You can really put a lot of stuff in it. If I'm going to London for a day, I will take this. As I have shown before, the straps on here are turned this way, 
rather than the usual. That way, does the, is this comfortable? Yes, it is. I actually prefer it that way. I find it easier to wear. What else have we got? I have the Givenchy Antigone that I have shown you um, in one of the videos because I got it for myself for my birthday in October and I am still so in love with this bag. I'm so glad as well that I went for the petrol blue. You know, before I had a child, I had Jay here, now I have a cat going through my bags, going through my parcels. Please stop making noise. I really, really like it. The strap is great. Um, there is a lot of space in it. There is no <coughs> wear on it yet at all. And that is because I went for this kind of um, textured, sort of like caviar leather instead of the smooth because I know how much the smooth scratches. Uh, what else have we got? I have a little Gucci belt bag, like a bum bag, which I really, really like. I have worn it with dresses, I have worn it over coats, um, I have worn it with jeans, you know, and, you know, like blazers and tied it on my waist. It just looks so good, but also I am so into bum bags at the moment because it just makes your life so much easier. I went to London uh, and I was running around like crazy doing stuff and I only had this bag and I realized how amazing it is and how great it is that they came back because my hands were free to do whatever I needed and wanted. You can just about fit your phones, you know, your wallet or you know credit cards and maybe a lipstick but it is enough and I really love that bag. I have another old bag that you guys have seen, this is the Gucci Soho bag. I have had this bag for over five years now and it is pretty knackered <laughs> but to be honest not too bad for the amount of times I have worn it. I have definitely got my money's worth when I got this bag. Um, I just throw it on every time I just need a small bag and just put my stuff in. Still love it. If you want a small bag that you want to invest in, it's not too expensive. I mean, it's not as expensive as the other bags as well. So I would really recommend getting this one. I also have the Gucci GG Marmont Matelas. I believe that's how it's called. I don't know if the color is translating well on the camera, but it's kind of like a pink nude. Um, what is this? I have no idea what's going on, what have I dripped on my top already, maybe it was tea, but yeah, this is, um, this is a lovely bag, I got it in summer, I believe, I have not worn it as much as I thought I will, I have to say, but that is again due to the fact that I look at this bag and I feel like it's more dressy and I take it when we go out, when I'm a bit more dressed up. I went, um, when we went to a wedding, I took it with me. I have no other bag of that color and I am glad that I got it and it's super soft and it's very, very light. The bag itself is super light. Um, plenty of room in there as well, so yeah. Really, really like this one. We have the Valentino Rockstad. Most of them have gold studs. Mine has sort of like black silver studs. Now they also came out with white studded ones, which are beautiful. They also have velvet ones, which I am literally crying into the pillow over. They're so beautiful, but I don't really like to buy the same style bag in different colors, even though I am very, very, very tempted when it comes to this ones and velvet. I went for the black because I didn't actually have a small black bag that I can just throw on with whatever I have, and I love this bag. Um, it also has a shorter strap, it has a long one that you can actually put across your body like this. I went for medium size because they come in bigger size and they also have like almost like a wallet size one and I'm really glad I went for medium. It's absolutely perfect. Oh, there's some lip balm in here. Let's put some lip balm on. I have lip balms in every bag. I like this one. This is the La Mer one. Not worth the money at all but smells quite nice. I've been wearing it a lot with my boots, with my Chanel kind of like army boots and um, but also it can look very dressy if you're wearing some heels i worn it for new year's eve with my black bodycon dress and it looked really nice what else have we got we have a new bag that i got just before we went to maldives notice that the stitching is coming apart great well that is just great um amazing so i have a stella mccartney um, I don't know what it is, like a toad, like a big toad. I do love Stella McCartney, I do love that she doesn't use leather, that she uses like alternative 
mm, materials but they still look and feel great and really luxurious it's not as expensive as the other designer bags but there is so much space in here and that's exactly why i got it we were in london and i was after a big um tote bag that i can you know take on the plane because i just take so many things on the plane uh, it also comes with this little wallet that you can clip onto the bag itself inside so 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 much room in there and it's it's amazing it's so soft this bag they also do this bag in white but they actually didn't have it in white when in Harvard's where I got this one but I actually like it in this color it's a bit more unusual however I do not actually have a white bag so I am on a hunt for a nice white bag then I have my absolute favorite of the season the Louis Vuitton pochette that I have worn to death already I mean look at it look how worn it looks that's because I have been wearing it almost every day I also put little like cherries from Dolce Gabbana I've had them for like three four years and I've never really put them on anything but I do think it looks quite cute on here so amazing bag lots and lots of um, compartments here three compartments and there is a zipped pocket at the back it's a long strap that you can put um, either on your shoulder or across your body it's just an amazing everyday bag I didn't think that I would wear it as much as I have done but it's just it's it's amazing honestly this is one of my favorite bags of all times that I have ever got and splashed out on. So uh, if you are thinking to invest in one bag then I would definitely recommend this one because they have also all sorts of colors. You don't have to go for like this brown monogram. They do them in black and blue and pink and anything, just one solid color. And I mean, they're just amazing. And then I have one more last bag that I actually haven't worn yet because it's super new to my collection. Well, it's not that new, but I just haven't had a reason yet to wear it. This is the bag that Jay gave me for New Year's and look at it. Who is that? Is that you? Is that you? But yeah, pretty much looks like her, especially with that little mean face. This is a little Gucci backpack. It's super cute. I absolutely love the straps. I mean, this is like one of my favorite details on it, but it's a really nice size. It's not too big, but I'm yet to wear it. I'm not sure why I haven't worn it yet, but to be honest, the weather in UK has been so bad and the outfits that I have in my head for this bag are a bit more springy and summery. So as soon as the weather changes, I'm definitely, you know, getting this baby out and I'm definitely going to wear it quite a bit. I wasn't sure about it in the beginning, I will confess. Oh, you know when you get like this big Gucci box and you're like, oh my God, he got me a Gucci, you know, and then I opened it and then I saw a really big cat on a backpack because I wanted a backpack. I really, really wanted a backpack. And then I open it and it has a great big cast in it. And I'm like, oh, oh, that's nice. But then it actually grew on me so much. And I, I'm so glad that he always, you know, go for some, goes for some risks and, you know, gets something interesting because the Vermilion Celine that I have, it's also Jay that got, got me that. And it's not the color that I would normally go for. But I'm so glad he got me that bag because I have got so much wear out of it. So this is actually all my designer bags. I mean, I have left some of the older ones out just because I have shown you um, them before. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye.